Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena and today we're gonna be playing with some steel bait but not this regular steel bait that you normally see on ladder but a steel bait that's <laughs> that's gonna be quite fast quite fast steel bait I think it's actually a good uh, thing to reveal already our plan to our opponent we're gonna be showing him a mirror because we're gonna be playing some steel bait with a mirror so very fast uh, cycle we're gonna see how it's gonna turn out uh, to be my opponent will be playing steel bait as well by the first look so very comfortable matchup i would say we're gonna be playing bomb girl instantly at the bridge he's not gonna be in time to block it so he's gonna have to for uh, waste some time to play a uh, phone hut and that's why we're gonna be able to play our uh, phone keg once again so I, all in all, I think a very good start right here. We're gonna receive some damage, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna play another Fire Tiny just to fully counter a Phone Keg. It's a very well-known interaction, and I'm gonna just abuse the crap out of it, because why not? I'm gonna play a bit aggressively, blocking his things at the bridge, playing my Bomb Girl myself, and I think already we have a sufficient advantage to win the game uh, by this point only thing I'm scared of is him starting to uh, throw uh, missiles at, on my tower that would be slightly inconvenient but apart from that I'm feeling pretty well about this matchup he's gonna throw another uh, phone keg and uh, well I, b I lagged a bit so it didn't come in time, but it doesn't really matter. He's gonna throw obviously a uh, rolling steel. I'm gonna throw a bomb girl. He now wants to block uh, all my bomb girls probably from coming, so I'm gonna just throw another one and basically try to uh, overwhelm him uh, at bridge battles. So just leave no chance of survival. Three bomb girls are already on the board. I'm gonna throw a fire tiny just to secure complete control. And right now, <laughs> he is, <laughs> he must be absolutely panicked because there are just so many bomb girls on the board. Every single one doing something. I'm gonna protect my bomb girl with skeletons. And at this point, it's just a troll match. But we might as well continue. I'm gonna throw a fun cake. I'm gonna throw another phone keg right after he throws a rolling steel just to piss him off even more. I'm gonna throw another bomb girl at this point. Like, yeah, this match has become a bomb girl spam and I'm absolutely loving it. I'm gonna defend this. This phone keg, I'm gonna throw a swordsman so he cannot, like, easily win a bridge. But I'm gonna throw a bomb girl myself. I'm gonna throw a. Phone keg is basically a spam at this point. I'm pretty sure you hear I'm having a bow out of it. He actually stops my keg very well. And like I said, only thing I'm scared of is him uh, suddenly, uh, suddenly playing a missile and ending my career. But I don't think it's gonna be the case. I'm gonna play one more uh, bomb girl just to make sure that I have a damage lead and there we go GG's nice plate very fun game but I obviously had a superior variant because he had uh, Ice Tiny Ice Tiny is very good uh, against like other decks where you want to actually defend things and stop uh, them from moving well Fire Tiny is just good for direct damage and uh, this interaction against Funk is still not fixed so I'm gonna just abuse it to the limit so yeah game number one was very fun let's jump to the game number two now in game number 2 we're gonna be facing a player with 6 stars and 0 medals so like I usually say it's probably the player that uh, had a very offensive uh, nickname or just uh, not fitting the uh, terms of service of the, uh, of the game so it got blurred out so it doesn't uh, uh, break any rules yeah uh, that's why it's 6 stars instead like I don't know he may he may be naming uh, himself Jordan, but like, I don't know, maybe Dev didn't like the Jordan name. I don't know why did I pick up on Jordan, but like, 
it was the first thing that uh, came up to my mind. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl just to delete this uh, Devil Horde. I actually received some damage on uh, Bomb Girl, so it was pretty bad. It's gonna waste bullets, which is absolutely fine by me, because I'm gonna just play another Phone Kick. Obviously, it's a risky move, because I'm very low on mana, so it, he w probably should go for some counter attack. Uh, instead of defending, but like he defended and it's absolutely fine by me because right now I have the ideal setup to just uh, play more offense. I think that's very self-explanatory. He played Ken here, so uh, uh, I'm gonna play Ken as well, but not to just mere copy uh, image him, but to uh, defend the Steel Hammer. I'm gonna play Swordsman as well, just to defend, like I said. His Ken uh, should be expiring really soon, so... Uh, when that happens, I'm gonna play some Bomb Girl. Uh, okay, he, he actually plays some Footman here. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl. He probably tried to predict uh, my Bomb Girl, but it that didn't work out and it will never <laughs> work out realistically. Uh, I'm gonna tank uh, some hits with the Swordsman. I think there's nothing uh, too bad about it. And once this Swordsman crosses, I'm gonna just uh, get my Phone Cake. Uh, try to force him to miss his uh, spell. He doesn't even go for a spell, so my phone kick definitely will just take it out. Uh, I'm gonna go for another bomb girl. Uh, I don't think it's a bad idea. I'm gonna mirror bomb girl because he's not playing anything. Basically, if your opponent uh, doesn't come up with uh, any plan at a given amount of time, you can just mirror bomb girls, and uh, that's gonna be a good plan regardless of a matchup. Uh, Unless you like really need a mirror for a certain interaction, so he's gonna actually go for a mirror uh, phone cake, and I'm absolutely okay with that because I can mirror fire tiny and basically get away with plus four trade, which is uh, should I say it's a lot? Yeah, it's a lot. So uh, I'm gonna protect my bomb girl actually here. I'm gonna defend his phone cake. I'm gonna actually mirror uh, my uh, rolling slip to defend his phone cake, and that's gonna be GG's. Very nice control game, like I've said. Uh, most of uh, like lower rated players don't know what to do in uh, these types of positions, so you can just spam bomb girls and win many games uh, pretty much by default. Yeah, that's gonna be game number two. Let's jump to the game number three real quick. And the next matchup will be against O Muffy with uh, almost 600 medals, rushing very early with Ghost, trying to. Uh, Catch me off guard. Unfortunately for him, it's not gonna work out since I'm gonna just play Bomb Girl at the bridge. I think it's uh, never a bad move unless you know uh, your opponent's matchup. But if you know your opponent's matchup, he's gonna know your po uh, your uh, your deck. And usually, Bomb Girl first play happens when uh, neither of you uh, knows each other's matchup because you're just cute into the game. So. Uh, in my opinion, it's almost always a good play to make. I'm gonna play some phone cake, try to mess his rolling steel, and he absolutely misses every single phone. Very good to see. I'm gonna actually play a rolling steel just to delete this archers. I could have played bomb girl uh, to defend them, and uh, usually that would uh, be uh, valid with my argument that you have to play troops instead of spells. But I wanted to just save the uh, bomb girl for playing it at the bridge, as it's gonna be even more inconvenient for him to defend that. So now I'm gonna just go for a very quick surround. I'm gonna go for a Swordsman and a Phone Cake, because frankly I don't think there's a better play in this position. This Swordsman will actually reach the tower and deal some damage, which will be very nice to see. And right now I have to play Rolling Steel, I think. I don't think I have a better play in this position. I'm gonna play some Bomb Girl, I'm gonna play uh, Fire Tiny, I'm gonna actually get a shot, so right now I have to just pretty much uh, defend and hold for my dear life, and if I succeed at that, uh, we're gonna be very uh, good to go. There we go, we are kinda low on mana, so he may try to uh, all in us very early, but I don't think it's that is the case. He obviously has to be up mana, because if he, does, if he isn't up mana, after this interaction, I don't know what he has to do to be at mana, and that's why we're gonna be playing Bomb Girl uh, in the back, because... Uh, yeah, right now uh, he kinda calls the shots, so we have to kinda react. I'm gonna play uh, Skeletons here, I'm gonna play some tarts to distract uh, 
his forces, I'm gonna play a Ken against this ghost as it was a necess. I mean, I could have just sacked it, but I really uh, like my... I really like my ghost uh, uh, being controlled. Uh, I'm gonna play another bomb girl because honestly, why not? I'm gonna play some uh, skeletons here. I think that's gonna be a cool play. I'm gonna play uh, a swordsman onto this uh, gunner. Uh, I'm gonna play cannon uh, just to chip on this uh, gunner uh, and viking. I'm gonna actually uh, get some nice defenses. And right now, uh, my opponent sets up for another viking. So basically, right now we have to kind of defend. Uh, one more time, and after that we're gonna, I think we'll be fine, so we're gonna play some uh, thing uh, defensive right here. I'm gonna actually mirror the swordsman, because I don't see how he's gonna just uh, break my setup. This viking, yeah, shouldn't be able to connect. He actually blocks my bomb girl at the burst, I'm gonna give him a nice play for that. Uh, yet, false will get, will find a way to get damage, so I'm gonna play rolling steel so my bomb girl actually hits okay it's not gonna hit a ghost unfortunately but it doesn't really matter uh, he's gonna play another viking i'm gonna play a phone cat once again in a tricky position so he, there's a chance he's gonna miss a rolling steel and there we go he misses a rolling steel i mean this game is already uh, wrapped up anyway but some additional damage was very cool and there we go there's our third win like i've said many people don't know what to do in these types of positions when you just start spamming bomb girls and we were definitely successful with that sequence let's take the dub let's jump to the game number four and like you can see oh mafi queues into once again a game against us let's hope for some nice match we're gonna throw a phone right away he uh, instantly uses blitz i mean he's not toying with this damage anymore so we're gonna just set up a uh girl in the back we're gonna play some uh, far tiny here I think right now uh, it's pretty much the... Okay, we have to play a Swordsman uh, Mirror right here. I think I didn't even need a Rolling Steel, but my Swordsman didn't kite it, so I kinda had to repair my mistake, and it was pretty costly, I have to say. I'm gonna play Cannon here, uh, I'm gonna play Skeletons to destroy the Ghost, and how did it get uh, all three of them? I have absolutely no idea, but that's life. I'm gonna play Fonkek in the front this time, so yeah, he doesn't block it with a Viking, and that's a very uh, cool damage for me. Let's just set up another defense and be chill about it, so I'm gonna just set up a Bomb Girl. Uh, I think this video can be just summarized by me uh, saying uh, let's just play a Bomb Girl uh, over and over again, and it's gonna be absolutely 100% true. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel here, uh, play a... Swordsman last second to counter this gunner and it's gonna be another very clean hold So this time my opponent will be knowing what I'm doing actually. So yeah, th this game will be a bit harder uh, If I may uh, say myself as well uh, I'm gonna get a counter on these buff archers. I don't think it's a bad trade I obviously he's gonna right now play ghost against uh, my uh, Bomb girl. Okay, now he's gonna play a Viking uh, against my uh, phone kick and he definitely gets a read here. So, yeah, uh, uh, I'm gonna play Ken on uh, this ghost. I'm gonna play Skeletons actually to distract the ghost. Normally, use, uh, use it to distract the, uh, distract the Viking, but in, in, in this position, I think it's already uh, a good uh, call to uh, distract the ghost. I'm gonna get a very nice counter here. I'm gonna actually use a swordsman to protect it. He's gonna use a blitz uh, to uh, try to counter my uh, phone cake, but it's not 100% countered by the blitz, so I will uh, sneak one uh, phone uh, shot, so that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna actually mirror my bomb girl, because uh, like I uh, said, when in doubt, uh, mirror the bomb girl. Uh, I'm gonna play Fire Tiny just to uh, make things annoying. He's gonna play Blitz. I'm gonna play Bomb Girl at the bridge just to make him choose. And uh, okay, he gets a very good Rolling Steel. Uh, that's kinda on me. Uh, I'm gonna play uh, Rolling Steel myself as well just to get some 
damage on the board. I'm gonna play Swordsman. Uh, right now, we kinda have to start pressuring because he played with, with this... Uh, this obscenely uh, aggressive Viking in the back, which uh, will mean that uh, he will try to set up some push. I'm gonna play a Rolling Steel here, I'm gonna play... Uh, right now I think I'm in a bit of a pickle. Uh, let's just... Protect our cannon. Uh, play a Swordsman here to kite the Viking. Play Rolling Steel to clean everything up. Let's just play Fire Tiny and some tricky Phone Keck. Uh, he's gonna play a uh, Viking and miss a Rolling Steel again, which is absolutely inconvenient for him. I'm gonna just play Khan, call good game, nice play, and yeah, we've cyber bullied this guy twice today in this video, so very, very sad to see that, but yeah, it had to be done for the content, let's jump to the game number 5. And the last game of today's video will be against John, so let's see what John will bring uh, us to the table. So far he is bringing a digger and a phone hut, which is a very standard um, combination. Uh, if I were to guess uh, his rest cards, he's gonna be playing some kind of digger control, so like poison, maybe gunner, uh, maybe some swarms like... Uh, okay, there are shield skeletons. That's one of the swarms that he can play. Obviously, I expect devils as well. Let's see what he actually brings to the table because I'm curious myself. He's not playing anything, so yeah, bone blasters obviously are on the menu as well. I'm gonna try to block his uh, digger with the swordsman. I fail miserably, but it doesn't really matter because in this matchup, pretty much important is amortizing damage. I'm gonna play a bomb girl. Uh, to snipe his phone hut and hopefully he doesn't have like okay he <laughs> he has the uh, poison so it's gonna be a uh, rough pick for us but he uh, we got some uh, chip shots with uh, with phone keg that's always good to see I'm gonna get uh, a mirror phone keg on the tower since he doesn't have uh, a good response against that and right now I think I'm gonna just preemptively play can because honestly why not? Uh, I have a good feeling that he would love to go in with a digger and there we go. Uh, I'm gonna play a uh, rolling steel just to save a can for a bit longer. He plays a poison which means I think playing bomb girl at the bridge will be a solid rebounds for us and I'm gonna play another bomb girl because honestly why not? Let's just get more uh, guaranteed damage. Uh, let's play some fire tiny action right here. Uh, yeah, these shield skeletons shouldn't be able to do anything. I'm gonna play a phone keg this time in the front, so he doesn't pre. De there we go. So he <laughs> so he has to spend even more to predict it. And right now I'm gonna just play bomb girl uh, on the opposite side to just help out defending. And yeah, unfortunately my opponent will be. Uh, uh, we'll be playing uh, some annoying stuff. Actually, his digger connects to the tower for the inexplicable reasons. I'm gonna play some phone keg and then I'm gonna repeat the phone keg just right after he plays a rolling steel, which will be absolutely fabulous for me because I'm gonna get a hit and that's pretty much all I uh, really want uh, from this position. I'm gonna play a uh, swordsman just to block the digger. He played in a very convenient position, so I uh, cannot even really complain about this. He's getting a lot of damage from these, uh, I mean, uh, well, mm, with these diggers, so I kinda have to catch up on damage eventually. I think uh, he kinda understood the uh, matchup at this point. Okay, he's gonna catch our phone keg, unfortunately, here. Uh, that's gonna be very inconvenient. Uh, we're gonna play some uh, rolling steel to eliminate his. Uh, forces very early. Fortunately, we even catch a digger, which will be a huge uh, boost for us. I'm gonna play a uh, phone keg. He's gonna, we're gonna play another phone keg. We're gonna take another hit. Uh, very good. Very cool to see. Uh, I'm gonna block his gunner with another uh, swordsman. We're gonna play a phone keg, and we're gonna uh, mirror the uh, phone keg very soon. Uh, just to assure that we're gonna get a, a nice win. We're gonna cut the digger, which is absolutely fabulous. We're gonna play some rolling steel just to prevent the bomb busters from getting to the tower. And that's gonna be GG's nice plate. 
a very nice game to end this video against a deck which theoretically should always beat us and uh, still bait actually Steelbane actually counters Digger Control if we have a missile, but this variant was like this uh, more of a cheese variant, which has a, which has a mirror and basically you can uh, play Fonkex over and over again and basically hope that your opponent uh, does not have uh, sufficient responses. And that was, bas that was basically our uh, plan for the entirety of the game. So yeah. That's gonna be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed this baity gameplay. Unfortunately, with uh, bait, usually your games will be dragged to a four minute mark, so you'll have to be a bit of patient uh, with your opponents. If that makes sense, but definitely it makes for a very fun games like you've seen in this video. And if you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing to my channel if you aren't already, because I'm posting a Boom Arena gameplay every single day and you definitely don't want to miss it out. So yeah, thanks for watching till the end. I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.